Hello. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, right, that's my... Elgato! It, it always defaults the Elgato to uh, the middle and the mic to the bottom, which I would prefer to be the opposite, but uh, I'll work with what I got. So, I did have to look up a walkthrough, so I've only had to look it up twice. Two times I've had to look up things. But I looked up what we're supposed to do in Mad Monster Mansion, so I know where I'm going to go. So, I'm just going to continue on from where I was at. Let's see... Alright, as usual, let me know if there are any uh, oddities in the audio or video. I know the frame rate's kind of choppy. Please excuse that, because I just. That's just how it's gonna go. I've, I've tried to adjust things, but it doesn't really do much. So. Let us begin! Playing Banjo Kazooie. Once more. Alright, and we were cooking Banjo. 74 Gs. We're getting pretty close. Um, yeah, these are the last... I'm already more than halfway through the third to last area in the game. Then we have Rusty Bucket Bay and Click Lock Woods, which this is going to be... I'm only going till 5 today instead of the usual 6, so I, I'm aiming to get through Rusty Bucket Bay and at least begin Click Lock Woods. So we'll find, or, what am I doing, actually? There's a ding pot down here that'll get me closer to my goal. Sorry, it has been a minute. Like, last last week, I just... I was having a real off day, you know? I, I just started so late that it was really throwing me off. But today, things should be good. Things should be pretty good. And here we go! Okay, let's see, uh... It was through her mouth, I believe. Yeah? Yeah, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's very dark. Maybe I should raise my monitor brightness. But it's, I already have this friggin' stage light. I literally just looked at the light for a second and I saw spots, so like, yeah, let's, uh, let's save that for later. Because ah, I know Rusty Bucket Bay isn't going to be that bad in comparison. So, uh, rather not blow my eyes out on that one. And I'm lazy. I don't feel like changing my brightness if I don't really have to. So, we're just going to work with it. So, I got to go back in here, and the only things I need left now are the pumpkin stuff. So, let's immediately mo run run, run, run over to mumbo my voice is a little uh a little tired and dried out today so i apologize if i don't talk as much as usual although for some of you that might be uh preferred who knows one of the appeals for uh, one of the appeals of streams for some people is that it's not constant talk like in a uh recorded let's play but for other people they they really want the talkage so i don't know man you let me know i am happy to accommodate pumpkin one thing i wish they would do with the pumpkin and i understand why they didn't but instead of just trundling along like this uh i'd love it if he just rolled around that'd be really cute Okay, so I couldn't see it last time because it was very dark, but according to the walkthrough, there should be... Yes! Okay, there's a little hole here. Yeah, I could not see that last time, so apologies if the whole time I was just like, I can't see it, and you guys like, it was right there! Um, okay, so we're going to go through that, and we go through all these various pipes. Whoops. Ah! No! No! The bat! Okay, good. They go away. Uh, or maybe I can only go through this big pipe? Ooh! Again, this is one that, like, I love the aesthetic and everything, but I didn't really get here very much, uh, growing up, so... 
You know, you know how it goes. So hold this here. There it is. Man, yeah, that really camouflages in, especially on a dim monitor. Okay, so I'm gonna slip around this way. Uh, oh no, am I gonna have to break the windows again? Ooh, I hope not, because that will be a pain. Uh, yep, I gotta go back and be Banjo to break the windows. Alright, let's just slurp down through that. That's eight, so I need two more, and I need the other empty honeycomb, which is through one of those windows, so... Let's go back to being Banjo, so I can get up there and do that. So I gotta do everything on the roof up, oh, and there goes the audio capture again. I just don't, I don't know why it does that. Elgato, explain! I, I could rant for hours about how annoyed I am with the Elgato, but it's like, I at this point, I've already worked with it enough that like learning the Aver Media will be even more of a pain. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and stick with it. Um, I know, even their customer support really sucked. Like, they did not help at all. I eventually had to go and find the solution myself. It it, it was very frustrating. Really, really unhappy with the uh, Elgato customer support. They were not helpful in the slightest. Um, I don't know, why can't they just make it work on Mac? Like, on Windows, you can literally just... Select the video capture device, and on uh, on this, like, you have to do all sorts of weird stuff. An OBS link, which didn't even work for quite a while, because that's used a third-party plugin, and that third-party plugin was all wrong. So let me double-check what's in all of these. Oh, yep, the toilet one. All right, so that's that. And then let's hibbity hop on top. Nope. Hibbity hop on top. Flippy flapping, don't wake daddy. Ooh, well, okay, I'm just gonna jump back up. This is gonna be a pain if I have to come back. And really, I'm like nearly done with this level, so. I just gotta, just gotta get it. Oh, come on, do the thing. Do that thing! Nope! Nope! I watched the speedrun of this and they said that the shadow, it's like, it's whether or not you slide is based on where your shadow is at. So you have like a two second timer before you start falling, depending on where your shadow is. Uh, oh! Gotta get these. Do not want to miss those. Actually, have I even been in? I don't think I've even been in this one. Okay, that's helpful, I guess. Maybe, bruh, nope. Get out of here, get out of here, dude. Woo, that's annoying. All right, can I go through the paintings? I cannot, whoa, okay. Forgot about that guy. And whoop. Oh, right, this will be, uh, 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 Okay, I got it. All right, so that's the ninth jiggy, and then the last one will be the uh, Clago, Lago, Blago, Doggo with a Blago. I don't know. So okay, broke all those windows. Let me. Whoop. Okay. Well, fingers crossed that one stayed broken. Uh, let me just. And then we'll, uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm using up, like, all of my gold feathers. <laughs> no. I'd rather not. Uh, speaking, I, I mentioned the term bite the bullet earlier. Um, when I was a kid back in, like, elementary school, um, and I was living with my dad. I remember 
he, his girlfriend at the time, or no, I wasn't living with him. I would just visit him pretty often. Um, his girlfriend at the time, her brother or like her brother's friends or something, cousin, I don't know. Somebody invited my dad to like their poker nights. And so they would also uh, bring me and my little brothers along. And um, so whenever we bet like the, the, the black chip, the like 10, 10 point chip, um, we would always say, I'm buying the bullet. And uh, one time we were doing that and it was like a party and my little brother, which I didn't find out till later because I wasn't playing this game with them, but uh, he, as he put it, he bit the bullet and his tooth fell out. So he decided to bite the black chip as a joke and it, it broke his tooth. So he, he lost a tooth that day, although I think it was just a loose tooth, so it could have been a lot worse. But yeah, that was a, that was a distressing day. But you know what? Sometimes these things happen. When you want to pull a goof, sometimes you gotta do that. Oh man, I gotta get myself like a nice poker, poker chip set at some point, because like... I, um... I have, like, a cheap poker set that I used to use for the felt mostly. So, um, I'm getting flushed away. Uh, it, it's just got the cheap little plastic chips, which are not the worst thing. But man, they, when you played with, like, real poker chips, it's real disappointing to just touch a, touch a, whoa. Why is that in the, like, blue font? Huh. I don't know. Um, let's see. Here totals. Uh, oh no, I'm missing some of the notes. I think I know where some of those are. Ooh, where are they? Oh no. Oh no, it's been so long since I was playing this level that I really don't know where, um, those last few notes are. I think... I think there's somewhere else that the pumpkin has to go? Over here, perhaps. Right? Shoot. Okay, that's the shed. How do you get onto the shed? Shed was where we did the, like... So that's four of them. Oh! That's how you get on the shed. Okay, uh... Hmm. Are we over here? What is over here? Okay, that's there. Uh, this, maybe? Uh, okay, that's the bucket. Wait, oh, there's one. So, that's, that's one. And we know where another four are. Maybe through here? So I'm gonna need nine after that, and I don't know where... Where could they be? Huh. I... I don't know. Am I gonna have to scour this whole level for more notes? Because that's like the last thing I want to do. <laughs> I was hoping to just streamline the last bit of this because I was already behind, but I guess... Oh, I'm hitting the board. I guess I don't have a chance in that. Okay, so whoop, watch out for that guy. They couldn't just be in this grass, could they? They wouldn't do something that ridiculous, would they? Would they? Maybe they did. Okay, well, let's go... Whoa. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with the audio. My apologies, folks. Hmm. Where? The last nine B. There? 
Oh, you know what? They might be in the main house. Okay. I'm gonna go change back to uh, Banjo-Kazooie and see uh, what they got. Oh yeah, the audio is really just dropping in and out. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, well I know where at least four notes are. The other nine have to be indoors somewhere. So let's go find out where exactly. Let's see. Um, so right over here, we can get all those. Okay, so we got all that. So we're nine away. We have one last one somewhere. Were they in here? No, they're not. Unless... Jump? Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, don't come at me. Don't come at me. Okay. So, not there. Let's check the main house. In here, perhaps. Uh, can I go through here? Cannot. Okay, so not in here. Let's see. I can't believe I missed nine notes. Felt like I was all over this entire area. Uh, wait, you got it. Yep. Just bust them all open. Save some time. Nothing there. Where are these last nine notes? Okay, and then is there like a trick to this last one? No, I guess you just can't go through that one. Okay, so let's check all the barrels. Apologize for any mouth noises. My mouth is really dry today. Is there anything up there? These sneaky secrets. Nope, not that I can tell. back here. Okay. Gosh, yeah, that's the thing with if you miss notes, you have to do a pretty thorough search, which is something you don't have to do as much in this version of the game because they don't do the note scores. It just saves what notes you've gotten. But when you stop a level <laughs> one week and start it the next week, yeah, it's sometimes you forget where you've searched already and have to do that anyway, so... Apologies, guys. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it okay. Doing it adequately. Doing it good enough. Let's see, let's see. Pow! What's this? I don't remember if this gives me anything special. Whoa! Okay. A lot of red feathers. Is it not a fireplace? Okay. Uh, can I go through here? Get out of here. Is there like a trick to this? 
feel like I feel like there's supposed to be a trap to that. Whoa. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who invited you to this party? Any secrets in there? Nope. Okay, so that's that room. Get get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey you! Get out of here. I wanna get him for the health. Don't wanna lose the health in the process! Cut the fats! Get him! Ah. There we go. Okay. Going through the front door. Are they in here? They might be. Whoop. Gotta get yump. Gotta yump. There we go. Okay, and then I got the flight pad. Um, oh, there's a... There's one man. Oh, nice. Nice. Did not mess that one up. Uh, I guess Bob the Grunty. That does something. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Don't want to go in the fire. Clungo. Who's that? Uh, that's Mumbo. Who's that? Is that one of the... I don't know. I think that's the broomstick. Okay. So not in there. Maybe in the maze? I don't think it'd be in the maze, but... Uh, I guess we'll check the maze. Check the maze for posterity. Oh jeez. Oh, they can see you. They can see you through it. Oh jeez. No! Oh no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I got enough lives, but I don't want to die. Ah. I mean, it just takes me right outside the maze, so. Could be a lot worse. Okay, let's check it while on Breagle back. As Kazooie is known to be. Alright, uh, feathers. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here with that. Oh, right. I literally went down the same dead end last time. Uh, he's gonna be over there. He's still chasing me. And I don't think they leave the maze. Okay. Uh, uh. Nope, nothing. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nope. Ah, no. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay, and then there's a clear shot I'm here to the entrance, so I'm just going to get out of here. Not in the maze. Whoops. Almost. Almost messed that up. Okay. But I'm just too pro. Go back for a little help. Hmm. Alright, done and did that. I guess I will open up church again. I don't think it'd be in the, the church. But I guess we'll find out. Oh no! I forgot to open it up! Ah! That's right, because I died in this set. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna... Up a cat, and... Help? 
Okie doke. So we got that. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Timer on this one is so tight. Whew. That's a close one. Okay, I was getting, I was having trouble in this area before, but I'm pretty sure I already got all the stuff. Like, I remember specifically having troubles getting all the stuff in here, so. Can't be in here. Maybe I left them up top? Because there's an upper area to this. On the foot pedal. Up onto there. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Well, that was... Didn't really move forward at all with that one. Oh, well, there's a life there. So that's useful. Uh, not missing a good view. Get a good view. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. As far as notes go. And then, let's use the flight pad to check upstairs. Whoops, whoops. Um, stick. Okay. There's the grunty switch. Which I've already hit. So at least I... At least I know for sure about that! Oh boy, okay. Oh man. It is much higher up than it felt originally. Alright, let's get these bats. For their health. What at honey? Alright, I shouldn't take it. Oh, well, I took one damage. That's not too bad. Falling from that height, one damage. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go. So it's not in here. Maybe it's outside of here? Like on the top? I don't know, man. I'm real confused. Uh, the pot's out here just for a jiggy, so those. Um, nice. Is it like one of these breaks? I don't think so. Oh. Gotta keep a good posture. Jump? Okay. What about in here? There's a lot of stuff that I kind of need, so that's cool. Um, no notes, though. I it's by Yomp? Okay. okay. Well, that was not crazy helpful, but that was something. Could use the items, so. Whoop! Bastard man! Just goes into the maze. Gotta jump. Uh, no, wait, it's the other side. That was not enough, uh, space. Up, you fool. Okay. Why are there no clock hands on these clocks? 
seems like it wouldn't be very useful. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, this is a high vantage point, so maybe I can see the notes. So I don't think they can be indoors at this point. So there's the shack. Um, there's the well. That's the maze. That's the front of the house. Hmm. That's the chimney. This has to be somewhere on the top of the house. Whoops. Probably should have let myself fall a little more gently than that. Yeah, it has to be on the roof somewhere. In one of those windows. <coughs> Sorry, check the ground floor. Watch out. Watch out. Might be the spot if I literally can't find them anywhere else. I gotta try it out. So let's check everything else first. Wait a minute. No, nothing over there. Anything. Break the mirror. Crush the sink. Get in the bathtub. Oh, feathers. Feathers are in. Nothing. Okay. on the shed I gotta do something? I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh good, I'm glad you're invulnerable during that jump. Oh, wait a minute. That's another pipe. There's another pipe that the pumpkin can go down, but how does it get up here? Does he just jump high enough? Let's bust out all the windows to be sure. Nope, nope. I guess I just lucked out last time you aren't invulnerable. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me, I just saw that on the waveform. Or the, the levels meter, I don't have a waveform for this. Because it's not... Uh... For wave well, not here, so let me bust out the last window. And if it's not there, I have to find a way to get up onto the top of the house. There's a pumpkin. Oh, here they are. Oh. Thank the Lord in heaven. Ah, uh, it was literally the last place I looked. But you know what? It always is. Because once you find them, you stop looking. Yep, found them all. Double check my totals. Yes. Okay. So let's... Get out of here. 
or I will leave you with the the fun Mad Monster Mansion music for a minute while I take a quick biology break. So I will BRB, folks. Okay, if I did that correctly, yes, we are back. Whoop. Oh, that's dimmed up. No, that hasn't dimmed up. Wow, it really is just that dark. Okay, so let's continue on. We finally finished Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, oh, you know what? I was supposed to do something with the pumpkin, so I will come back to do that in just a minute. All right. Down here. Okay, and then this. Yeah, this is the thing I need to do is the pumpkin. I had to make sure to bop it away first, anyways, so. It all works out! Gotta do that, and I'm pretty sure I gotta go across the other land bridge. Oh man, 40 minutes in. 40 minutes of streaming, and I've only just barely finished the last world that I had already mostly finished. My apologies, man. I had to re-explore that place. The next two should be much faster, because I can just straight through it. Keep saying that. I keep saying that, oh, it's going to be faster, it's going to be faster. It's probably not going to be faster. Especially Click Clock Woods. Click Clock Woods is going to take me a while because of all the falling. It's one of those levels where it's just so vertical that it ends up taking an absurd amount of time to, uh, bust through it, you know? But, should hopefully not take too long. I'm hoping I can at least get two Click Clock Woods by this, but, uh, I might only finish Rusty Bucket Bay. We'll see. Nicely spooky. I was just playing more uh, Trail on ha at House on the Hill. Played a game of that uh, last night. Last night? No, we played that uh, Friday night and also um, earlier today, right before I streamed, which is really fun. It was Haunt 32, which uh, I won't I won't spoil or anything, but I, I liked that one quite a bit as the traitor. That was a pretty clever one. It was pretty dark. Even the uh, even the other folks winning was like not as so good. You know? 
was it was the bare minimum of we're technically alive. But again, no spoilers. What's up, Mumbo? Oh. Okay. That's the beginning of that, okay. Stop, stop. So this is not an optional one, like you have to do that. Okay. Come in, come in. And then I'll turn back to the pumpkin. Mumbo, Mumbo, stop! I don't. Do not eat me. I'm friendly, Pumpkin. I'm friendly, gentle Pumpkin, for your friendship. Okay. Let's see, is there any secrets behind any of these? I feel like that'd be the perfect place to hide a secret. Whoa. Oh, he's come. Ah. Twice. Twice I'm hit. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Over here? Oh, and the lava. Great. Well, it brings me right back here, so. Could be a lot worse. Let me turn this so I can actually see where I'm going. Whoa, oh yeah, there's a heavy turn here. Okay. Ooh, ooh. J ah, ugh, I panicked, I overcorrected. I panicked. My bad. That's my bad. Okay. Just gotta slowly. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh. Carefully. Oh, oh. The the pumpkin's just the tiniest bit slidey. Just slides a little bit. So you gotta be really precise. Ooh, gentle. Gentle. Yep. Okay, there we go. Um, I can come back for her later at the end. Oh, hey. All right. Another Cheeto spell. I'll probably save the Cheeto spells for uh, the end as well. Maybe even do that off screen. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would want to see that or if I should uh should wait. Cause I can go either way about it. And then I'm just gonna bleh. toasted pumpkin. Because I have enough lives and I don't feel like going across the tricky bridge again. Yep, yep, you're gonna undo the magic. Just do it, do it, loser. You're a loser, Mumbo! Call your mother. Worried about you. All right. So off to Rocky Rocky Bucket Bay we go. 
this should be quite fine. Mm, rest tea bucket A. Is that voice? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this one or someone higher up? There's another one. Oh, there's a ding pot. Uh, blue one. Okay. It's a little weird that you start come into this one swimming, but you know, it could be weirder. Okay, anything on the bottom here I should look for? Nope, no sneaky secrets. So let's bust out of there. Anything down here? Nope. All right. I don't remember if I've actually opened up Rusty Bucket Bay yet. So we will find that out soon. Oh, yeah, there's a railway crate over there. That's cute. I like railway. They make such fun games. Like, uh... Perfect Dark. Zero. And Star Fox Adventures. And... <laughs> slalom. I always confuse Slalom and Ski Free. Ski Free is the one with the really scary Yeti. Slalom's the one with the, the skiers and the skin tight outfits that have a, uh, let's just say, embarrassing look. When you, uh, use them. Oh, hello, friend. Ah, that's what that's for. Okay. Keep that in mind. Rare wear! Okay. And we go up to the second level. Okay, so then we go through there. I'm just gonna... It's a little faster to swim under. Hmm. I have, at this point in my life, mostly gotten over my fear of swimming in games, although every now and then I'm still clutched with a little bit of... <sighs> Little bit of anxiety as I as I play through some of the games, but uh, I can handle it. I'm not that scared. I'm a little scared though. Okay, here it is. Wow, yeah, that one's mostly empty. Twelve, twelve jiggies to open that one. I'm pretty sure Click Lock Wood is just completely empty. Or just has like one. Um, one thing I really, really love about this game is the way they handled the click clock wood uh, puzzle. Because they... <laughs> I also love these bees, how they're just a flat. They're just a flat image. Um, yeah, the puzzle for click clock wood is a. Uh, is at the beginning of the game, so you can see bits of the last level at the beginning of the game, but you have to wait till you're at the end to uh, do anything with it. Whoops. Well, I guess I gotta come back for this. <coughs> so that's really cool. I, I'm I'm uh, a fan of that that idea. Okay, can I turn the I want to turn the camera around so I can see what's through that grate. There we go. They didn't do that in the sequel, and while, yeah, it was less frustrating, and especially with the huge world that they were building, um, they kind of had to... Oh. Oh. Wait, that was... If that was Mad Monster Mansion, I can swim higher in there now. Um... But, like... It was better to have King Jiggy Wiggy as the, the guy who you constantly went back to. Like, overall, it was smarter to do it that way. But... I, I, I miss, like, having to search for stuff. 
and like having that kind of a storytelling element. The Isle of Hags is fun, but I, I think Runty's Tower is just a better overworld, all told. But I don't know, that, that's just my opinion. We'll definitely get into that when we play Banjo-Tooie, which I am absolutely going to do, so just you wait, guys. Just you wait, fellas. Folks and fellas. Oh, -ho. sneaky secret for me. Can you do anything else? Is that it? Is this a one up? This is one man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's cool. That's neat. I didn't really need it, but, you know. Harmful. Uh, crap. Where is the... Where is the exit for this spot? Oh, no, it's so murky. I can't... Oh, boy. Hold on. I'm not gonna be able to survive if I don't. Uh, hold on. Okay, so... Okay, it's directly under that grate. Gotcha. Sorry, it's just so murky. It look it looks quite a bit no, is it not? Oh, what? Okay, I guess I misjudged that. Um It's yeah, it's very difficult to see on my screen. It's a little bit uh washed out and weird. I Man, why am I such trouble with this. Ah, stop! Stop that! It looks like that. Where's the... Where is the exit? Oh, it's there! Oh, wow. It's way further away than I expected from the other stuff. Okay. That really confused me. Kids games, they tricky sometimes. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Up and to the right or something. I don't know. Pretty sure. It might be a grunty switch thing. Well, how about I go into the ding pot? Oh, wait, where did the ding pot open? I guess it helps me rather than having to swim through all this. Uh, maybe if I go down. I'm pretty sure there's another switch that raises the water again, but don't recall. <sighs> Remember how confusing that was in Mario 64? <laughs> You'd have to hit, like, the weird, like, diamond switch, and you'd have to, like, kind of judge, like, okay, is that gonna be underwater, or what? With this, it's just like, yeah, there you go. Now you did it. You did it, stupid. Oh, crap. Whoops. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we do have a blue. Okay, nothing through there. Nothing through there. And through the grate, we have... Yeah, here's the final switch. Oh, and that gets me to the end of the thing. Oh, but there was a way to... Up and stuff. Huh. Oh, oh crap. Wait, no. 
Okay, so I think I have to go through the other side after that. Okay. Here we go. I gotta swim all the way around. Yeah, that's what the ding pot's for. I mean, I guess she calls it a ding pot, and it's actually a magic cauldron, but uh, it's a ding pot. You can try and judge it up all you want, guys, but it's it's a ding pot. Uh, 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 it's there. Okay. What's that, Cheeto? Cheeto. All right, what spell do we get this time? Gold feathers, so I got blue eggs, red feathers, gold feathers. There's some more that they don't actually say in there that I'll probably look up when I go do that. Which I'll do between streams at some point, but uh, I won't do anything else. All right, that being said, 405. Okay, so I have about a little under an hour to do Rusted Bucket Bay. So let's do it. Gotta finish this whole area in under an hour. That's that's doable. Let's get this toll right away. And that opens up that area. I know there's musical notes right there. I'm saving the ship for after I get all the other stuff so that I don't, uh, run out. Okay. I do like the implication that not only does Rareware exist in the Banjo-Kazooie universe, but they, uh, use Grunty's shipping service. Uh, I think you're supposed to be able to... There's a vine. There's a vine that uses this music that I kind of want to reference, but uh, the, the person who did it does not uh, like their vine career. So I won't. But, uh, yeah, if you look up... If you look up a vine that uses this music, or if you recognize this music from a vine, you know the one I'm talking about. I, I like that vine a lot, and I, I... It's really funny stuff, and it's kind of saddens me that they that they uh, don't care for their buying career anymore. Um, but I understand. It's it's a dysphoria thing. They were they had not transitioned yet, so it uh, kind of messes with them to hear about their buying career, so I can understand that, and I can respect that by not the shame anything about it. That being said, I think this is some of my favorite music in this part because, uh, or rather in this game, because it's just, it just sounds so silly. Huh, how do I get that again? I think I have to, like, I have to. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't need it for the 100%. They don't tally, you know, the mumbo tokens. So, I will probably just ignore it. Mm, I'll get it later if I find a better way to do it, but, uh, yeah. Whoa, oh. There he is! Ooh. I do not like this shark. I do not like him. Oh boy, bite to me. He bites me. He bites me every time I come around. I don't care for it. I don't care for his bites. Come on, come on. There's got to be a way up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, battery. Oh, no. My phone might die. I think it'll survive. I think it'll, you know, last long enough for this stream. And I will charge it, but, uh... Hmm. 
And this. Okay, and there's a little lip there. Oh boy, this one I remember being real tricky. Uh, it's always interesting to see, like, some of them are like, beat a whole boss, and others are just like, just kind of fall down. Eh, you're there. You're pretty much, you, you got it. You got it! Sometimes they hide stuff. Ooh, no, no, don't fall. Don't fall. All right, we got four notes. Hold on. Hold on, I need just a little. <coughs> ah. Getting a little croaky, so. <coughs> All that does is, uh, it lubricates your throat and vocal cords, so when they rub together, they make less noises. There is, like, something in here that- yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I remember this being nonsense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this being total nonsense the last time I played it. Yes. Shut it. Yeah, there's gotta be something else in this area, right? Oops, in the water. In the drink. It tastes like lime. It's like, there's like something. Think you gotta like swim out the door? Get something? Well, I will just remember that because it's not very easy to this <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm making the gross noises. Like a cow in a fuckler. Those are usually called mouth noises, but Michael Ian Black the comedian calls them uh, banana noises in a, in a bit he has and uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate if you want if you want a lot of mouth noise bananas the way to go a banana and like a glass of milk like fat fatty like whole milk and probably some cheese Oh yeah, that'll get you gunked up good. Okay, just double checking. Hmm. So what use is that? Well... Okay. So that's everything in here. I mean, I got Jiggy and I got some notes, so, uh... Um... Just gotta get out of there. <coughs> I really like... I really like that, uh... They're like, we're gonna do two... Two water levels, but we'll have one early on, and it'll be pretty easy, you know, it's just a fun, happy beach, and then for our second water level, we're gonna make it so much harder, we'll make it industrial, and we'll make it so that you, you can't breathe even on top of the water, 
which is genius. It's so clever. I think I gotta go pull the anchor up from the top. Crap. Crap. I'm running out of air really fast. I just that's that's just good game design. It's 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 a solid iteration on something you've already done that adds challenge and makes thematic sense. That's what I'm talking about, kids! That's what I'm talking about, children! Yeah, I'm having the worst trouble just walking a straight line. I swear I've played this game before. <laughs> a lot. I've played it a lot. But I guess... Just out of my head like a colander. Like a, like a sieve, as they say. How often do people use sieves rather than colanders? I ask you. Maybe used, uh, was some cheesecloth? Maybe used, uh, mesh strainer? We used a sieve. All you've done is deceive me with that. Hmm. Hmm. this is here? Oh, I guess that's just a visual element. Whoa. Whoa. I also like that. They put the gingos in places that are thematic for their color, usually. So that was the green gingo and the green slime. No! Ah, uh, yeah, fiddle faddle. Ah, uh, cram sticks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Wow, that made my glasses even more smudgy. This is why you're supposed to use, like, glasses cleaners, but I don't always have them on hand, so, like... Uh, oh! Yeah, go in here. I believe this is a boss room. Let me get all this stuff first. I was doing the thing! Why, 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 why? Why does it keep hitting me like that? I don't... I do not like that. Come on, you bastard, man! Got it. Double check there's nothing in there. Yep. Okay, that's everything in there, I think. No fingers crossed. Ah. Some secret eggs for my omelette. Whoa. 
Whoa! Ah, uh, there was a third one. Oh, what? I did with the egg and again. Oh no, that was the one I hit with the egg. Go for it, go for it, dummy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it. Uh, oh! An X. I. Okay. You'd think a challenge like that would be a, a cheeky challenge, but I guess not. Huh. It's a little odd. Well, I guess I can't complain. I guess I can complain. I am an American. I can complain all I want. It's baloney. Ah. Through the top of that one. Oh, what's up? Let's deal with this room. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, let me make sure I get all the, the goodies. Might be around. Don't want to miss any of the collectibles in this collectible game. This is gonna be the collection show. I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? Oh, over there. Whatever. Oh. Tucked back. Well, all right then. <laughs> okay, I need to go up, up. Nope, nope. On the stack. This is this is not how you should be stacking boxes, guys. This is not safe. Well, I guess if you cared about safety, you wouldn't be working for Gruntildi. That's just a mumbo skull. Nah. Nah, I don't need that. Was that even a reference to? I don't, I don't even remember where I heard that. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going for this mumble skull. I do not care at this point. I just want to get through the ding dang level. Man, with smudgy glasses and the light ray in my face and a uh, dark screen, this is a uh, this is a nightmare, my dude. Absolute nightmare. All right, that's the limit of how far I can go on that side. So, I'm gonna climb up this. I'm gonna go up. Whoops. And we go up. There we go. Okay. And then we can go up. Er, whoops. I meant to, uh... Pa pow I think that's timed. Yep, 16 seconds. I'll take that. If I get up in time. Whoa! Got it! Nice! Friggin' mint! Okay. That brings us to the boat section. So there's a lot of stuff we gotta do here. Let's see. That lifeboat only has egg. <clears throat> Start at the lowest level and work our way up. Uh, okay, not what I meant to do. Hold on. 
I want to get all the, the goodies first. 36. Okay. We got like three. We're about like a third of the way through the level here. So I should be making pace to finish at least this level. And then next time I'll do Click Lock Wood and the, uh... Yeah, final battle against Groot, Groot Ilda. As it says on my shirt, Matilda. I love this shirt. I've already talked about it in the past. Uh, it's from the Yeti, so I don't believe you can get it at this point. Um, it was just one of their uh, daily tees, but who knows, maybe they'll reprint it at some point. It is really cool. I did, I have since ordered two other shirts that have not arrived yet. One that is a super awesome Dodo Airlines shirt, which I'll wear during my Animal Crossing streams. And an awesome, awesome Godzilla shirt. It's so cool. It's, it's, oh, uh, I, 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 I don't even want to describe it because I'll do it so little justice, but it's so cool. I'm super stoked for that one and it should be coming, who knows, sometime soon. All right, I guess just watch it. Uh, usually takes, you know, a few weeks because they have to do all the printing and such. Is this timed? This might be timed. No? Okay. And I, I saw in a uh, playthrough, there's like a glitch here where you can, maybe it's only the other direction, where you can like walk through here. It's like seen. Nah. Nah, I guess that's just, that's uh, just from the other side. Oh well. Do you see something? Interesting. Nope, that was just the yellow stripe. But okay, slowing those down will be helpful for later. I already got that. I gotta go up here. Let's actually, we'll work our way from the stern up to the prow. As they say. Sailors, you know. And a U. Should I like? I'm gonna climb up. I don't remember what happens here. Uh. Well. Got over to here at least. Bam! Skills right there. See that? You see that jump to the ladder? That's what we in the business call skills. Bam! Bust it open! Oh, wait. Alright, and then I'll pay these tolls real quick. Oh, boy! Yeah, no thanks. I've already been over there anyways. I guess that's easier than nothing, but jeez. Six, seven, eight. That's it. That that is more reasonable. Let's let's hop over there real quick so we can get the orange Jinjo. Got him! Got him! And the purple one, and I believe he is in the ship. So let's go around to that. Just a minute here. Oh yeah, we're making great piss. Making such lovely piss. As 
over here. Peace. I like that croak, baby. <clears throat> I should stop clearing my throat. It hurts my vocal cords. I mean, that's what people say, anyways. Whoops! Oh, I did not. Did not do that one correctly. Shoot, I don't think there's another way except for going back there. Well, let's go back in this hole. I believe this is the boss fight. Mm. Yep, so before I do that, another uh, quick biology break. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, we are back, ladies and gents, and all, everyone's bents, I guess. F folks of all ages, you know. Alright. Whoa, watch out! He's coming! Gee, I wonder how I should combat him in this room full of eggs. Oh, that isn't right, so it is just a trick. What the heck? Okay, guys, come on. Oh, or maybe it's just the eggs take more time. Okay, the eggs do work, they just take a lot longer. Fine. Fine. I can work with that. Oh, come on, come on. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, come on! He got me while he was spawning. Well, that's just annoying. Although, on the other hand, I think that helps because that means that the uh, grunty switch, the rope for the TNT should be back, so that means I can get the grunty switch much easier. So let's go do that real quick. Yeah. Yep, it has not been exploded, so that means that the TNT will be back. 
cool. Yeah, that'll help me out, actually. So I can get to the collecting switch. Get to it quite easily. Is this character 90 or 5? It's hard to tell. Okay, that's what I meant to do the first time. You can just barely make it, but I just accidentally hit the, the double flutter too soon. Hmm, okay. Whoa! Okay. I gotta go back over. Do that. You know what? Since I know how to do that, I'm gonna actually... Oh no, does that reset all of the tolls? Oh, that's a pain. That's a pain and a half, my guy. No, really? That sucks. Oh god. Ugh. I gotta remember to stop doing that. It's modern gaming, it's really poisoned my ability to uh, remember how to uh, camera without a free form camera. That's those. Oh, whoop. No. Get out of here, you dunk. Nobody knows you here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one never changes. It's 23 is number one or something. That might be a different game. But I guess we'll find out. 20. Nope. Three. place to actually figure this out, but I think uh, one, two, nope, three, two, wait, three, one, two, one, Somebody's cooking up a skull. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's spicy for my feet. Don't step on the knife! Ooh, pretty nice kitchen. You got the, the kitchen island and everything. That's pretty nice. Guess what? Crap. Mm, don't have the timing for those guys. As frailing as the other things. Gotta come up. Uh, gotta come up. Oh, that's cute. They got a dozen eggs. Yes. Okay. Oh, is it slippery? Nah, it's not slippery. That would have been cute, but no. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. I like that some of the regions are just, you know, it's just environmental. There's some notes there, but for the most part, it's like it's just like an actual place on the ship. Nope. Nice try, buddy boy. Gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to catch me. Where am I? Where's the danger? Ah, uh, captain's quarters. Hi. Hi. Or I guess. Uh, Steerage? Or is steerage at the back of the boat? It come, oh come. Oh, come on. How's I supposed to see that? Guy? Well, 
Well, okay, they got everything. Um. Hey, crack that window out. Nope, guess not. These could be brightened up just a touch, maybe. It's a little dark to see. A little dark at sea. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. <sighs> you know who I just thought of? I think I I started thinking about um. Just to give you an idea of how my brain, like, works things out, I thought of the sea. Pirates. Pirates at sea. Talk like a pirate day. Uh, hey, CR, aka Chad Rocco. CR! With an exclamation point. Uh, for Talk Like a Pirate Day did something for his tabletop series. Hey! CR did a tabletop series. I completely forgot about that. And now that I'm, like, way more into tabletop, I kind of want to go back and, and watch that. Although I think it was more, like, trading things. So, like, obscure trading card games. The one I'm thinking of, it was Talk Like a Pirate Day, so he did the whole get up and he, I'm a pirate, I are going to the sea, where we're going to play this game. Um, and he, he did the, uh, oh, what was it called? I have no idea what the name was, but it was basically, it was a game where you got a little, like, card made out of, like, really thin, like, wood, like, model wood, and you used it, you would, like, it would actually be, like, a little ship's model, and it was a miniatures game, basically. And it was really cool. Um, I never played it, and it's probably hard to find at this point, because that was years ago now. And even then, I believe the, uh, it was not, like, uh, a new product at that point, but it sounds really fun. And I like CR, you know? He did, uh, Familiar Faces, which was a show on thatguywiththeglasses.com, which eventually became Channel Awesome, and eventually had a huge scandal when it was revealed that they were just, just abusing the crap out of their, their video producers. And not paying them, which shocked me. It's like I, I for a long time, I really wanted to be on that guy with the glasses. It seemed like such a fun group. Everything su seems super cool. So I was like, yeah, I'd love to be a part of that. And I was like trying to figure out how to do video production stuff. I never got on there because I couldn't figure out video production before things went to hell. And then, yeah, it, I, I thought that they got paid to do it or something. But it's like, no, it literally was just the dirty word, exposure. Like, they literally were just, like, giving them the ability to have their videos on this site that was doing, you know, decent numbers. And the thing is, they weren't even doing great numbers. Like, they were doing good numbers for uh, Blip.TV, and in fact, they were doing the best numbers for Blip.TV, but uh, that's why Blip.TV crashed and burned, and they had to move to YouTube, and then they went from being a huge fish in the Blip.TV the tiny blip.tv pond to being a tiny, tiny fish in the YouTube pond where nobody cared about them or their studio. So they'd already spent all this money on really something that was not that ended up not being that useful for them because they could not afford it anymore. And that's, you know, that's unfortunate, but also they were crappy, sexist dudes who, uh, did stuff. And hey, you know, Oh, hey, there's Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day, a game I probably, uh, I might pay, play if people really want me to, but I, I'm not actually a huge fan. It's kind of, it's kind of bad. It's kind of a bad game. Um, why, uh, I'd get into if I'm playing it, because it's easier to explain with the actual visual aids. But yeah, at best, uh, Doug Walker and his brother and all them were complacent in the hideous stuff that was happening to all the, uh, producers on that site, so they are certainly not blameless in any way, shape, or form. Which, you know, it's unfortunate. I, I 
I kind of looked up to those guys, and then all of their dirty laundry was aired, and it, it turns out they were, uh, little crappy dudes. Which is, just, you know, unfortunate. But I was also... I was young. I was, like, 18. Um, gosh, that was, like, a decade ago. Now, but, uh... Yeah, I just... I was young and naive. And I, I didn't think that... You know, it was anything more than a bunch of fun, and it turned out to be a bunch of nonsense. Goes to show, you know, check in on the people that you like, make sure that they're they're cool. Ah, oh, crap! That hoit, that hoit a lot. Ah, dang it! There's gotta be something over here, right? Something. Uh, maybe on top of the pipe. Maybe if I'm up there, I can see it. Whatever it may be. I've not gotten either of the honey empty honeycombs for this area, so I don't even know. Uh, oh. Oh, that was just a cold feather. Well, I mean they're rare enough. But uh. Yeah, dour times, man. Sometimes the people you like. Don't end up being anything. I believe CR kept doing stuff on uh, YouTube and did okay. So definitely go check that out. Go check out CR with an exclamation point. I should go check into what he's been doing. Last last time I checked, um, God, it was years ago. He was doing uh, Hearthstone coffee. He would just stream Hearthstone in the morning while drinking his morning coffee. And uh, it was fun. I used to really be in the Hearthstone. Um, I was not very good at it, but I, I enjoyed it. So that probably counts for something. Okay, uh, I gotta get up there. Oh, come on, I gotta get up to the thing. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Uh, God, are they gonna keep chasing me no matter what I do here? Stop it. Go away! Go away! Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got one of the empty honeycombs. I was just talking about so that. Uh, okay, I cannot. I guess that's just the Okay. I'm gonna wait because I know that this, yep, spins like that. So let's just get this and then we can just hop on over. So this is the engine room. This is the, the bane of any Banjo Kazooie player's existence. So it is incredibly difficult platforming. Um, oh no! Oh, the slowdown I got. Uh, missed out on the slowdown. Whoop. Okay. So yeah, I got it to slow down and now it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. My throat is so dry today. Uh, okay. Well, eh, never mind. It's just a... Uh, just a mumbo token. Alright, gonna wait this out. This, this is also so clever. It's the same shape. And I'm dead. See what I mean? Instant death. Incredibly difficult. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh... It's so clever because they just took the same shape. Oh, great. Thanks. It's definitely what I wanted. Um, they just took the same shape. And they, uh... They re... Okay. Camera took a minute to catch up there. And they just used it in every way that they could. And had it spin in different ways and everything. It's very clever. I appreciate it. Great deal. Okay, I think... That does it for those areas, so let's go back and get this guy. Alright, 
Alright, so let's go and beat this boss. Get that. Go back and slow down the engine. And then, uh... Oh, do the engine room stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera messed me up there. My apologies. Doesn't even matter, because we're just dropping into here. So yeah, I'm gonna grab all the eggs I can. That'll make things easier. Ah, dang it. Well, that's all I could grab. Okay, let me just, yeah, grab all the eggs and ignore the boom here. Boom, boom. A cool cabana. I just, sorry, uh, if you're not into wrestling, you might not get that one, but uh, there's a wrestler named Colt Cabana, and his theme song always gets stuck in my head, and it's literally just boom, boom, a Colt Cabana, boom, boom, Colt Cabana, boom, boom, Colt Cabana, boom, boom. And I think there's verses after that, but like, it's so catchy. I, I really like him. He's become one of my favorite wrestlers in AEW. I watch it every week. I spend thirty dollars a month to watch it every week, so pretty silly to uh, miss episodes. Um, if you're interested in AEW at all, like if you have cable, it's on TNT. But if you don't, uh, you can also just go on YouTube and all their dark matches, which is the matches that aren't televised. Um, you know, because if you pay to go see a live show, they make sure that the show is actually going to be big enough to be worth paying for. So, in the past, they had different ways to do that, but, like, you just go on YouTube and look up AW Dark. It's, yeah, it's, like, an hour to an hour and a half of, like, wrestling for free on YouTube. Super awesome. And, like, they will show, like, different highlights and stuff, so, you know, if you want to know, check that out. Um... Shoot me a message, you know, if you have any questions. I I like wrestling quite a bit, so I, I especially AEW, I have a lot I can say about that. Okay, so we got him, that's six. Got four more to get in the next eight minutes. Can we do it? Uh, probably. Probably. I just gotta get the, uh, the rest of these, um, the rest of these engine room stuffs, and let's see, I will get this honeycomb guy again, because I don't actually need to hang out in here like last time. Boom! We're out. And then this goes, so you can see this one is flat into the left. Yep. And I meant to. Oh, I meant to slow the turbines down first. Well, we'll work with what we do. We work with what we got. That's the way. And then that one, it's fully up and down, with the the hook like over top. But you gotta do a flip flap jump. And this one's upside down like that. I'm pretty sure the other side has it to the right, which doesn't really change that much from the other one. Um, I don't think I need them at this point. I have. Yeah, 28. I'm pretty sure 28 is plenty for the clock wood. We just hop, hop, hop over there. And then we do this. Oh no, that's not the one I was thinking of. Well, okay. Pretty sure I can go from over here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I went when it was way too fast. Whew! Okay. I gotta finish this off. I'm, I'm so close. Come on now. Come on now, we got this. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure it's if you go through the pipes over here. I still have, yeah. I just need eight more of the uh, music notes. Alright, through here. Heck you. Pretty sure all eight of them are just in that area. Or at least most of them. So let's go back to the engine room. Watch out for that guy. I don't know. I just don't like him. I, it might be those big scary teeth. It might be those angry eyes. I just do not care for that fella. I don't care for him. What can I say? Do not enjoy that guy. Uh, uh, uh. No damage. Nice. Alright. Am I too late? Nah, you're never too late when you got skills. Whoops. Did too quick. Yo. Try it, try it. Try it, mother flipper. Sorry if you messed that one up. But, uh, over here that gets me the jiggy so that's seven let's see that's seven I need to get the ginger one uh, I need to get the one from underneath and I need to get the uh yeah I need to get the heckin uh 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 What is it? The uh, dolphin. That's what they're called. Okay. Come on. Is this it? Yes! Yes, it worked! Glitched! Oh, that's cool. That made me feel good. And I'm right here! Nice! Come on, really? I guess I gotta get them both. Fine. Okay, so let's go back around. Uh, or, uh, I gotta find a way to get this anchor up off of this guy. How do I get the anchor off this guy? How do I help him out? Uh, wait, how do I get up here? Ooh. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Don't touch. Oh, that's where the answer is. Three, one, two, one, one, one. That's where I should have looked. Three, one, two, one, one, one. Okay, and then I guess it's one of these. I think I already went through here, though. Uh, yeah, this is this area. Is this where I can, like, undo the, uh... Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Isla Hags right there. That's where we is. We wouldn't know until the second day. Whoa! See, this looks more like a submarine. But I don't know. I don't wanna... It's not my forte. I have to ask my roommate. He is a... Uh... He's in the Navy, so he would probably know whether or not that is the thing. Whether or not that's what it is. 
I think the last four, the last four notes are on a lifeboat. Where? Is there a way for the lifeboats to be like higher up? Could that be it? I've got to figure out where that last Jinjo is. No. Yeah. Anything? No? Okay. Fair enough. Alright, that slows them down. And we're gonna go out of here. Back to the engine room. I think we can do this most accurately. Yeah, I don't know. I am not aware. Oof. Whatever, let's keep it going. I don't know what the timing is on this, so... Don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Oof. Oof. Yeah. No, no! Ah. Oh. I think I'm a little too tired to get this one, to be honest. So, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for everyone who's watched. Thanks for everybody still watching. All one of you. And, uh, thanks to anybody who watches in the future, either on my past broadcasts tab, here on my Twitch channel, on twitch.tv, or over on Iggy Kid Twitch Archives, which is my YouTube channel where I archive all of my Twitch streams. You can check that out over, uh, underneath. There's a panel underneath here. Which will take you straight to that. It'll take you to my other YouTube channel, Iggy and the Ape, where I post a bunch of fun content about stuff. You can check out my Twitter and things. It's all underneath here. So, go check those out, please. I would appreciate it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, go check out my schedule underneath as well. I do Banjo-Kazooie each Sunday. I'm doing Mario Maker each Wednesday, building up my Mario Maker world. And I do Animal Crossing every Monday. So, and I might do some other ones. I'm thinking of doing a voiceover advice stream again, because I've done a few of those. Uh, this next one is going to be about acoustics. So if you're curious about acoustics, you'll learn some things, hopefully. So, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, yeah, have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.